Okay guys, um, this is my old workspace. You can actually now get out to the door at, at the side of the house. I can never stand here. Just remember, if you remember this guys, this was full to the roof, up high, off scrap. And now the amount of room I have in here. Um, it's gonna be plastered painted in here. This is more of a washroom kinda. But I used to use this as my scrap room. So there's a few bits of industrial microwaves I've taken apart. This is all copper, has to be ripped out at. So I'm gonna show you now what I've done with the shed guys. Um, and go straight into the video. So it just has to all move out of here. But as I said, it's plenty clean. She's off my back now for a while. So yeah, take that off and a few bits. But we're going down to the shed now guys. I hope you like the video. Okay guys, it's pop scrap here. Um, since the last video I did here, I've been doing a bit of work, getting things organized and moved out. Um, fine big container here of scrap, good scrap. Uh, kept busy, kept very busy. Um, I had to go through a few different things with Um The shelving have to go up here now, it's going to be part of my workbench, one of them. Um, but I'm going to have a couple of workbenches here. So, I sold my two ton bags of cans. I had 196 euro 50 in cans, so this is two days of, oh that shouldn't belong there, should be in here. I'm separating the plastic from the cans, so this is two days of collecting from work. Um, yes, yeah, so adding up quick. I have the pubs to pick up tomorrow, it's Tuesday, so that will probably nearly fill these ton bags basically, or the can bag. So I'll have to sell on Thursday evening again, just to get rid. So yeah, 196.50 I got. So that was last week, so that'll be so That's good money, so I have to clean up here. Get into the scrap, um, start getting this bench sorted out. I have a lot of good scrap, brass, and this kind of stuff. I, you see all these little hooks and things like that, and little fixtures and things I'm getting from work. A lot of these little jars. So I can screw them up on the shelves, so I can turn them and fill them up with all the knickknacks. So anymore, I don't have to be waiting for for looking for little bits and pieces. So like to this here, I can get it open. I can put all these little clips in, or little plugs for screws, and all these little miscellaneous little bits and pieces, different types of screws and wall plugs, and you know all this kind of stuff. All these little bits and. I didn't even know I had them actually, that shows you. You see like little drill bits and all this like nice little bits and pieces of everything, little springs and things that I use and when I want them I can't find them. So it's very frustrating. So I've got some of my scrap in, a lot of brass here, nice bits of copper, batteries are here. There's a lot of stuff to do on video here. This is what about three and a half foot high this full to the neck, can't move it, all these little bits and pieces of brass and like metal detecting fines and you know copper brass plugs are here and down here you can see more metal detecting fines and look you see it right like stainless copper coins which is going as copper but yeah get my stripper sorted up this is going to be a bench for stripping and for my vice to have on and I'll have another bench here then beside it for taking bits and pieces apart for videoing and things like that. So yeah, there's some of my tools. I'm just taking bits and pieces out, getting things out of the shed of the house here. I cleaned it up a lot back there. Now and another thing I want to talk to you about guys. Um <clears throat> I'm going to start I'm going to try to make a compressor or a compress or um something like for crushing aluminium into blocks. Now this is only for, how can I explain it to you? This is only for hobbyists, kind of, but I can get a lot of it. This is from work. I just only brought a tiny bit more last night. I get all this from work. This is pure aluminium. And this is from wine bottles. This is pure aluminium. This is what goes around the neck and the lid. Now, I'm thinking about compressing all this into blocks of aluminium. Now, I can get a lot of this stuff, and I mean a lot, a lot of this stuff. So, is it worth it? For me, I think it is, because it's free. I can store it, it's aluminium. I'm trying to get a good few kilo to cash it in. 
So I'm going to work on that. Um, the bins actually went out today for glass at work, or last night, should I say, Sunday. So that means... I'll have to wait till next week or start taking off the bottles tonight from work. But anyway, I, I think I'm going to start doing that and taking all the bits of aluminium. And start compressing it. Why not? The spray is going into landfill, so I might as well take it. And these hooks, guys, I have about 40 of these. 40 of these hooks. They're very good. I'm taking them all. They're going to be mounted up onto the... It's going to be mounted up to the side of the bracket, a bracket like this. So, run them all along the beams. These hooks, I've easily 40 of them. And they're off for holding curtains. So yeah, I've seen them. So that's what I'm gonna do, mount them all up, put on a lot of my tools or rods and things like that off the ground so it gives me loads of space. So they're coming to me today, hopefully into work. Everything going well, so yeah. A lot of like pumps and things like that here and bits of alley and brass and things like that. Different types, that's a I think spray gun or something like that. Of some sort. Brass on it and things like that. But yeah, I'm getting into the scrap now again very soon. But I am scrapping away at bits and pieces. Sorting out things. Um I've a lot of scrap. I'd sort out a container here for putting scrap into maybe here behind my benches. So yeah, just the bottle area kinda. I'm sort as I said, I'm sorting out these as tins, ca aluminium cans in one and uh, plastic in another. I find aluminium runs through very quick. You can run them through very, very fast aluminium and it takes a lot more aluminium to fill a tum bag bar as you can see the plastic. But as I said, the bulmers cans I get from the pubs is a lot of 25 cents. These are all 15 cent cans, but there's a lot of 25 cent cans bottles here. Like so they're over three or uh, um, over five hundred mil, so they're twenty five cents, twenty five cents. A lot of these are this is twenty five cents. This one is the seven fifty. Yep, yeah. twenty five cents for that. Like there's a lot of twenty five cents in this. There's money in this one too. But yeah, there's aluminium or the aluminium cans take up no space. So yeah, it's a quick video, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you then.